Hello everybody, this is Nolan Cat here and we're back and he's back too. Which is uh real nice. And I think that was the pot we sent out for coal power and last time. We uh just did a little of the dirty work, including getting coal power back. And uh let me remind myself, it's been I think it's been a while, you know. I've been oh fluid buffer can get him the forty has input output for pipes okay it costs oh yes the monster frames and I didn't I don't like those but what we have is we have that we also have water extraction now which it just takes out a lot of water and as you can see it costs rotors plates aren't too bad right now and then we now we've got the Oh, don't build one yet. We got the coal generator, which costs more rotors. So we kind of just need a lot of rotors. And I mean, this is a pretty efficient factory. I mean, I don't think this is ever stops making stuff. See, it's full on screws. And let's see, do I have I decreased screw production at all? Uh, no, I have not. It appears screw production has gone through the, uh, through the roof. And now we've got way too many screws, and, you know, I never have enough screws over here. But we are going to temporarily turn these guys off. And now we're going to... Got a lot of screws in it. Exactly, using screws now. We're going to take that out, and we're going to get a splitter. Just a little bit of logistics stuff, like now that. Nice. You see, that's that's how you do it. Okay. Now we take this here, but we can get some of these screws to also nicely move along into this container here this is where we store all our screws because oh yeah that also happened this is heavily backlogged now with plates though we need to increase plate production actually okay well we had to, I have plates on me no, I don't have plates on. Okay, see, this was still making plates. Very cool. Got about I had these blade runners that I have. They are tasty. And by that, I mean they're they're good. All right, what do I need for? Oh, oh that's right. Yep. Okay. Uh, get back to back to getting screws. Yay. I'm so happy. Okay, 20 rotors. Now, I think that means that we have all the rotors we need for the two objects that we need. Which is coal generator. Okay, so this we have the stuff for. It's 20, 10, a lot. And this we should have enough on those, but I still need to get a little copper for copper sheets which I'm not doing currently I just need those but this has an abundance of copper so that thing can just make a bit for us now I should have enough for a lot of copper sheets alright the copper sheets that we can make an AI limiter now. I don't think I want to make an AI limiter, although that isn't this, I think. It wasn't this. Next thing that we have is high speed high speed connectors and 
power switches. And smart splitters. Power pole mark threes. Bunch of stuff that I don't have the time for. Not right now, at least. So, let's, uh, let's actually, let's go build some of her stuff. I'll look for a spot, since we have enough to make what we need, but I also know that we also need to go, actually, search for coal. So, I think, uh, coal's, oh, okay, coal's the way over here, there. Maybe I'll go over to that one. Depends on where my build location is. That one's close to the base, I think. I'm gonna go find a build location. We need water, I know that. Oh. There's a thing here. Hey, how rude. Okay, you're gonna feel it now, buddy. Alright. I need to get a little bit of heal food. Let's find out what we have. Copper. Not a normal amount. Motors. I know we actually need one of those. 12 reinforced plates. That'll be nice. Let's see what else. More motors. Now I've got 30. 60 wire. More reinforced plates. Now I've got 70 of those on me. Drop pod. Just needs power. Go. Let's see what's inside. Hard drives and analyzing man. Okay, I've got a hard drive now. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Okay. So result an alternate rep recipe. I don't know what it's for, but that's nice and there's no way that's unguarded. You probably just can't see the guy. There might be one of those bossy boys. And which we might do later, like next episode. And hey, a lake. Is this lake deep enough? I don't know how big the fluid extractor is. I have to assume so. Yeah, that's pretty big. But it looks like it's good enough. We're going to build one of these. We're going to look around and see what's a... Uh, Good place. Oh, there's some stuff right here, and this is like a pretty, pretty nice area. I think it's probably good enough to have water production just down here. Or water, water production, really. I have fuel. Now I think we need a couple of pipelines. They need to come out of here. Like that. Plug her in. Now, I don't know if our thing will make up for all the power in our grid. Don't know for sure, but the problem with the coal generator is that it needs coal, and you know, I don't know. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have any of that. So, let's see what's closest. I think it's this one over here. How's the coal? I don't like that there's a big open field here. Okay, it's not in the big open field. There's a power slug in it. We'll also have to probably have to go back here. This area is uncharted. Good friend. Right, and there's some of these things. And I think I saw some red thing. I'm gonna try and go around these. 
I don't know what I do with this. He appears to be running away. Where's your dog go? Yeah, no, he's a nice one. That's nice, I can see lizard dacos around. Requires screws. This scrap pot requires screws. Uh. All right. I can. I can do screws. Cool. Oh, that's not good. Come here. What are you? Yeah, there we go. A second hard drive. Now we've got two. That's a blue. He's guarding a path, it looks like. Circuit board. So oh, that guy's guarding a path. There's definitely some stuff we need to explore. Real soon, I was just looking for coal. And the coal actually up here Looks like there's some bad guys up there Thankfully bad guys don't mean much to me Only just because they're easily avoided I also realize I did not bring the kind of stuff that I need Oh, there's the coal. Whew. Okay. Oh, these guys. Although I've killed many of them, so they wouldn't be too hard to fight. But I don't think I want to fight them exactly. This seems portable miner. All right, now we build ourselves a mine. Just hit each other. Can't afford. Why don't I just get rid of a lot of it? how you reliably make bare belt lines that look super super realistic so our coal factory is just over there but i can't afford it. i believe that there's a guy inside of here so i'm gonna go kill him here he is Rudy. Oh. This guy is really, really mean. That's also really dumb. Uh, 
Alright. Yellow power slug's mine. More quartz I already have. Way too much quartz not to do it. I went on a long journey to get quartz, and I haven't used any quartz yet, but because I'm currently doing coal, my power situation is less than friendly. Look out, guys. Look how spooky scary this place is. And then it turns out the bold guy is a lot scarier and does way more damage than this guy. Okay, take our take our sky belt. Let's take it downstairs for a second, shall we? Oops, I accidentally built it high. here there and now we're going to get a little bit of a power grid set up here first we got to get power to our coal which really wasn't actually that far from this place it's like right there Hey, once we do this, we can get up there pretty easily and fight those fire guys. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. You've seen some of my other videos on this game, you know, just without why. Okay, we're just going to connect this back to our normal power network. But go. okay, so we're gonna transfer our power not directly into there, but we're gonna go to the uh, front. But instead of actually doing it normally, we're actually going to not exactly go up there, but we're going to go to power and get a powerful mark too. So let's uh, make one of those. And now, we catch this. Because, whoa, that has a lot more connections. Now, we can take it back to our copper. Hook it up with the rest of the power now. Very cool. Now, we should have, actually, I'll just check this and see a graph. There should be an increase in, oh, that's right. We don't actually have any power at all as of right now. Okay. We uh, temporarily have to add a little bit more to the network that should not have any more biomass burners on it. Our max consumption is just a little bit too high compared to our capacity. And now, our capacity is just a tad bit higher. And, uh, should be enough to supply the water extractor, but there should be, we'll go back, and there should be some stuff falling through, and finally, we can get some coal production, but first I need enough for a second coal generator. Alright, so our coal should be incoming. Oh, actually, I hooked this thing up one reason. But what we need to quickly do is actually get rid of this. We need to increase our capacity by adding in a second coal generator. Now we get ourselves a second coal generator. Oh, 
Let me see if I can move it over. There we go. Now what we want to do is get ourselves some pipe section. Pipe. To here. There. And let's hope. Oh, we're a little, a little short. I am being super terrible for you guys. I'm so sorry, guys. There we go. That's way better. It's faster and better in general. All right. Not another pipeline. Do we want to hook up this to that? Now we want. This. We want to create a bear splitter. We want to put it right here. And then put this over here. And let's now connect this to that. And we're about to experience it. We're about to experience the beauty of coal it's coal power ladies and gents let's see here in today's amount of coal uh, we should easily be able to handle all this stuff and this should give us a nice 150 in terms of coal and how's our water looking it's looking good that's nice. There's maximum water. And, oh, here it is. It's beautiful. The coal. Our coal. It's, uh, it's coming up. Oh, it's going down. It's currently inside of this coal generator button. It's not making any power. Why do I even, why do I even play this game? <laughs> Now, I, uh, I mean, I don't know whether I should get totally get rid of uh, my other my other consumption, my biomass completely. I think I might give it keep it as a extra spare backup. Cause oh, here we go. They've started up, and now they're quickly. They're filling up. And not only are they filling up, they're also filling up. Now the next step for coal is probably to actually the next step is gonna be real scary. I don't know if we even can make it right now. We can't but that's conveyor belt mark twos. Because conveyor belt mark mark twos are what could get us here faster? Of course, I don't think the miner makes more. However, I did a little research. It's been a while. And uh, I'm pretty sure that coal produces... That a coal miner, a miner tier 1, actually produces more on coal nodes. I think it produces twice as much. So if we get... We can either split our conveyor belts, but I don't even think that'll work. I think the only thing that'll work for us is a faster conveyor belt. So I think we have to do that. But for now, let's enjoy having 150 production. I mean, and having our consumption. Our capacity is way up there. But as uh, I think that I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because as of right now, I don't actually we don't actually need uh we don't need extra we don't need extra power, and I don't think that it's currently using the biomass burners. I think this is doing all of it, which means that biomass burners I can just leave, and they'll just be extra. I'll probably at some point move them to like I don't know behind there or something, just have them all there just in case, and you know eventually I can refill them if it's necessary. But for any more, we're going to have to greatly increase that this speed. It won't be too much, but it will be quite a bit. We finally got ourselves coal power. 
the next episode, I think we're actually going to do a little bit of exploring. Since we've done quite a bit of factory stuff lately. So I think next episode we're going to do some exploring.